Never Stop Learning, week 209. We're going to take a quick look at the GPU performance in Adobe Illustrator CC 2015. Now, this is a new feature in the 2015 version of Adobe Illustrator if you're only running a Mac. If you've been running a PC, you've seen this in a previous version of Illustrator. All right, now the reason I bring this topic up is people have been asking me what this little rocket ship is over here at the top of my screen. When I hover over it, it tells me the GPU performance is enabled. Click to modify options in the preferences panel. All right, so I'm gonna click on this little rocket ship. It's gonna bring up my preferences and over here on the left, you see the GPU performance is already highlighted. So it's great, it takes me directly to this location. Over here on the top, this is the GPU performance section. It's showing me that compatible GPU is detected. And if yours is not compatible, you want to come over here to where it says more info, click on that and find out exactly why. All right, next, it shows that my GPU performance is enabled. And we also have an animated zoom that goes along with this. All right, so what's GPU performance? Now, GPU is your graphics processing unit. Now, with this feature, we're going to be using the GPU to help out your CPU. Your CPU is the one that's usually running Illustrator all the time. All right, so now we're going to be using your graphics processing unit to help you out. All right, now I'm going to turn this guy off for now just so we could talk about how it worked previously to this update. Down over here, GPU details. Mine shows uh, the vendor is NVIDIA and the version is 4.1. Now, my understanding of this is if you have an NVIDIA card 4.1 and above, you do have access uh, to this new feature. But what you want to do is click on that more info link that we were talking about earlier or contact Adobe directly to get the exact information. All right, shows right here, total memory, 1,024 megabytes. So we're going to be getting some help uh, from the GPU in that sense. Click right here to show system info. I'm going to skip that and come over here to OK just to accept those changes. Now you notice my preview kind of snapped a little bit. All right, so we went back to the old school mode. All right, I'm gonna hit the Z key on my keyboard to activate the zoom tool. All right, now I wanna show you guys how this worked previously. We're gonna talk about the animated zoom. All right, now, previous to the update, what you would do is click, and notice it just zooms in there a little bit. Option's gonna zoom out, but every time you click, you're gonna be zooming in closer to your object. You could also click and drag to define a marquee area. And when you release your mouse, you're going to zoom into that marqueed space. All right, now, another thing is if I hold down the space bar, I'm going to get the hand tool. And when I click and drag, I get a little bit of a choppy view in here. Okay, I'm going to zoom back out. Now back over here in the top, I'm going to find my little rocket ship. Click on it once, it takes me directly to this section so that I could turn on my GPU performance. I wanna make sure my animated zoom is on. Now the performance is gonna help how Illustrator runs. Over here, the animated zoom, this is an actual tool that you could actually see in action. All right, back over here in the bottom, I'm gonna click OK. All right, great. Now there was a little bit of a snap and some users also are telling us that they're experiencing a little bit of like jaggedness going on along here. Now, we're gonna take care of that in a little bit. Now, first thing I wanna talk about is the animated zoom. All right, when I click and drag towards the right, notice it's zooming in. This is the animated zoom. It work, it's working kinda of like how you're used to working in Photoshop. All right, now when you drag towards the left, check that out, we're zooming out. All right, so we're getting this awesome zooming in and zooming out animated feature in here. All right, I really like this. All right, great. Now, the next thing I wanna do is hold down the space bar click and drag, and notice we're getting a cleaner preview when we're moving it around. The only jagged jumpiness you're seeing is my hand moving around. But for the most part, it's keeping up in real time and it looks great, and that's the GPU helping us out in there. All right, so earlier I told you that you do get a little bit of a jagged preview with some of your artwork at times. So uh, what I wanna do is show you how to take care of that. Over here in the top, we got the view menu. Click on that, and we have this option here, preview on CPU. And there's also a keyboard shortcut associated with that, and that is Command E. I'm gonna click on that, and you notice my preview changes up, and now we have a smoother preview than we did before. All right, I'm gonna hit Command E on my keyboard, and we're gonna snap back to the GPU preview. All right, again, back over here in the View menu. I'm gonna scroll over to Overprint Preview. Now, a lot of us are already used to working in Overprint Preview mode anyway, so when you click on that, 
check that out. It actually smooths out some of the roughness in there as well. All right, now I'm going to hit Command E on my keyboard, and that gives me the CPU preview. I'm going to hit Command E again. Now it's giving me the GPU preview. Now, if you're wondering how I could tell, over here in the top, see this little tab? It's showing me GPU preview. All right, so that's how you're able to keep up with that stuff. Now, when I recorded this, this is actually July 2015, and Adobe actually put this new feature out kind of as a public beta. So that means we've got to give them feedback and let them know uh, what we like, what we don't like, and if we're running into any problems. All right, so we are running into some problems, and I want to show you guys one here and how to take care of it. All right, so over here in the file menu, I'm going to scroll down and dip into my recent files. The one I'm going to choose is this guy here, multi-file place. Now, this is actually a video I recorded a couple weeks back. I'm going to click on it, and check this out. It's giving me this really weird preview. I actually have uh, Pandora going on in the background, and that's why you see this. Now, to take care of it, just hit Command-E on your keyboard. That's going to uh, get rid of that um, GPU preview, and now it's showing us the CPU preview. And we're able to see our artwork. Now, when we're in this mode, we do not have access to the animated zoom. So if I click and drag, I have a marquee that it's going to zoom into. Now, let's switch back over to this document I have set up here. All right, we still have the GPU enabled. And for this document, I have my GPU preview. So if I were to click and drag, I still get that animated zoom anyway. All right, so that's just a couple of ways to take care of that. And there you have it, folks. That's a quick look at the GPU performance in Adobe Illustrator CC 2015.